it will be, a, you know, a God bless to uh, the resistance um, who are spreading all over Iraq. So if the Iraqi police, until now, they cannot protect themselves, do you think they will be able to protect those people who are going to be a candidate or who are going to cast their votes? So how can we have elections okay, in this case? Okay, so the case? short answer is no. No, Thank big you. no. Thank you very much. Can I just come back to you? You've heard our speakers uh, speak in your name and, and uh, tell the audience what they think you as Iraqis want. Do you believe that the elections are worth holding? Are they worth participating in? Would you recommend that your people take part in those elections? Uh, nowadays, I, th I don't think that will be a, a good environment to, to make these elections. No, no use of making this election. As I say to you, that uh, people, uh, including my family that are living in Iraq now, are afraid of going uh, to, the, uh, to the centers to vote. So how come they, uh, the, there will be a good uh, and uh, fair election? You Thank tell you. me how. <laughs> Mohammed al -Duri. very quickly, yeah, because yeah, we've yeah, got yeah. a few more I, questions I, I, and we're I running out think, of time. I, I don't think it's a question of uh, uh, the, uh, the, the people are secure to go to the to the uh, to polls. No, it's just the, the, the question but is. But you don't think so. He the, does. the question is if there is a real democratic election or not. If the people are willing to do this election to elect their representative in the national assembly. This is the question. And the Iraqi people now, a half of Iraqi people, they are saying 30 percent or 40 percent of Sunni or uh, I don't know. But all those people from Mosul to Baghdad to Ramadi to Baquba, to Samarra, they are not willing to go to polls. So now, if that's happened, are the election democratic or not? Are the, the, the election free or not? Are uh, these elections will lead to a democratic state in the, in the near future or not? This is the, this well, is let me throw the question back to the yeah. students in the audience then. If, if Iraq was more secure, would it then be worth participating in the elections? I think yes. Uh, the, 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 the big problem now is the security. Uh, not even the policemen have uh, the, uh, to control the security of their self. So how come they can uh, secure other people? So uh, the, uh, the most problem now is the security. All I right, think. thank you very much. Gentleman has sat very patiently in the front row waiting to put a question. You, sir. Should we stop blaming Americans? Americans were involved years ago in Iraq. The track record of America in terms of democracy is always negative. 1915 Iran and so on and so forth around the world. But my question to you is that have you ever taught all this fiasco in Iraq today is nothing but the responsibility of Iraqi people who sat quietly for so many years and allowed Saddam to do what they have done, what he has done. Still, Iraqi are dying not because of Americans there, because of what Saddam represented for 30 years. And as long as you people, and in fact, in the entire Arab world, will not face this, questions this particular answer, nothing will be resolved. I mean, why are you, why are you expecting? Why shouldn't the American be there? All right, Americans were there in 1969 when he took the power. Okay, can and we get Mr. al Dori to answer your yes, point? Yes, I, 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 I completely disagree with you on that interpretation, but uh, uh, you have to ask yourself also why the Americans there, what they are doing in Iraq, what they did already for two years, and even before that, when they're imposing sanctions and killing two million people. What is this? What, what are the Americans doing there? So you have not to blame Iraqi people, you have to blame Americans and the Britons, to be there and to do all this chaos situation. They are occupying power, international humanitarian law, put the responsibility on their shoulder, not on the, sh on the shoulder of Iraqi people. I'm just going to take very quickly one last question from our student contingent there, the lady who's sitting second along the row, you. Uh, Ms. Claire, uh, does uh, democracy can bring um, freedom for us? I think democracy and freedom are interlinked. And I think just to see democracy as one set of elections, where there's no, that's not democracy. All right, we've come to the point where I'd like to ask you to vote on the motion. The motion, this house believes that Iraq's neighbors have no wish to see a democratic Iraq. You have your voting devices. A, if you are for the motion, 
and B, if you are against, would you please point the devices at the screen behind me and uh, make your selection and do it now. You only have to press once. You don't have to keep on pressing. And I'm going to declare the voting over now. All right. Good. 63% against the motion. Thank you very much indeed to you, the audience, for coming, for our speakers, eminent speakers. Um, we're back next month with an Israeli-Palestinian debate. Meanwhile, our website is up and running. Do consult it. Uh, thank you very much indeed for being here tonight, and have a safe journey home. Thank you. Thank you.